Hey guys, Lip Power here, ready to be guys. Just a little, little bit of an update before the battle showcase starts, just so you know how to submit a video if you want to submit one for the future or whenever, because it's very easy and anyone can do it. So send your battle codes to liphowermedia at gmail.com if you don't know what a battle code is. It's basically when you go in the verse recorder and you're connected to the internet beforehand, and then there's a little blue arrow, you click upload, and you upload a saved battle that you've uh, recorded on your battle recorder. And then you'll be given like a 12 digit code or a 16 digit one. And then basically you just need to send me that in the email with the uh, the subject of the email being showcase and block capitals because then I know you're sending it for the showcase, not just some random email. And then a little, a little description, a short paragraph to tell me why I should pick your battle because obviously I will be picking the best of the best battles which, which obviously implies don't just send me any old battle, send me an amazing battle, send me a battle that will make me want to like record it and like showcase it because obviously <clears throat> That's a lot better than just sending, you know, a stally battle. Please, please, no stally battles. I do not want a stally battle because I don't want to be sat here commentating a stall war because that's boring for everyone, okay? So, and then also, uh, after the short paragraph and the showcase and you've got the code, everything's sorted and you sent it to this email. If you have a YouTube link, and obviously, uh, then obviously you put it also in the email and then I can link you because obviously if you have an awesome battle and you have a YouTube channel then people should deserve to check out your channel for having that awesome battle so yeah um, hopefully that's all clear to you guys and it makes sense and just enjoy the showcase video that is about to be showcased so goodbye What's up guys, it's Power. ready to bring you guys another episode of the battle showcase where you guys submit battles and shit like that and obviously you've seen in the beginning how to submit it if you want to submit some yourself. Today we're going to battle from Michael and he says, Hey Jonas, first here's the code. Uh, now it's a mix here but my opponent JB has only used one item on all of his Pokemon. Obviously this has caught my eye so obviously I, I wanted to definitely keep this battle so that I could record it and stuff. And he says, can you guess what it is? Well, we'll, we'll see on the game, see if I can guess it, see how quickly I can guess it. And there's a YouTube link which will be put in the description below. Love the content you put out too, thanks man, that's pretty cool, pretty cool shit. Let's get straight into it. Here's the thing, 3, 2, 1, full screen. Um, and you can see JB's, they got mixed team, and look at that Pachirisu, what? That looks awesome. As you can see, these are the very interesting team. It looks very, very colourful team on the bottom with the red, green, you know, purple, blue. There's all this colourful stuff. And the other one looks a bit more pinky, greyish. I don't know. That's the, that's the sort of vibe I'm getting. But either way, this looks very interesting. I don't really know what else to say about this because I don't really know what the fuck, you know, Patrice does and what most of these people want to do. But we'll just get straight into it and not miss the battle. So we'll hit that start button. So, Michael, thank you for submitting. Hopefully, this is an awesome battle. We will, we will just see what's going to happen. So... <laughs> Because I have no freaking clue. Sorry, I'm leaving the window open just in case you may hear some background noise because it's fucking boiling today. But anyway, he leads off with Weezing and goes straight away for the pain split, which is an, an odd move. Maybe thinking that the Conqueror will outspeed and then he'd go for knockoff now, which still does nothing. I don't know. Pain split seemed like a very odd move. But he only runs one item, so maybe, I'm, I don't know. Um... <laughs> That's really weird. One item on all of his Pokemon. I don't understand what it could be. But we'll have a look see and see what this mystery one item is. And you get the crit and it's not leftovers, obviously. Uh, oh my god, I, I'm just wondering what the hell this one item is, honestly. I'm just kind of like staring at their Pokemon thinking, what could it be? It goes for Scald. So it's definitely not a choice band or a choice, uh, choice specs. It could just be a choice scarf. Oh, and that Sucker Punch just completely destroys the Slowbro. It could be a Choice Scarf. He could be running Choice Scarf on all of his Pokemon. That could be quite funny. That could be quite funny. But yeah, so let's all... <laughs> oh, Intimidate. Oh, but he's going to get a Defiant Boost. Woo! But he's against something that he's quad weak to, so he's probably not going to stay in anyway. But he stays in anyway. What? But he goes for a high jump kick and that just completely obliterates this uh, bishop. So that's really unfortunate for him that he's just lost uh, the bishop. But you know, so far it's one point went down, one point went down. I'm pretty sure they're all choice scarfed. I think I've got it. I think they're all choice scarfed because he switched out on the high jump kick. And he's switching this bad boy into choice scarf and knock off again. He goes for protect, which is a really odd play because you probably should have predicted that it was going for a... Uh, that it was scarfed, because I, I can smell it right now. But then again, I wouldn't know during the actual game, because, you know, it's not like my teammate's going to say, hey, I'm using one item only, have a guess. 
But yeah, so he's just gonna go for a knockoff again. Obviously, that's a good play to switch into Weezing. Already got his item knocked off, and then it can actually successfully pain split now, so that's a bit better now. It get a bit more HP. And to be honest, if he keeps on going for a knockoff, I mean Ice Punch is no all choice scarf. What could this be? Are they all assault vest? I don't know. My lord, what is going on in this game? I don't I don't even know. Are you sure he has only one item? Because, oh my god. Icy Wind Skarmory. I am sorry. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What kind of a new meta is this? <laughs> what the? Icy Wind Skarmory. Icy Wind. And he goes for drop like after being burnt on a wheezing. Is that really a good play? And he goes for flamethrower, which is going to... Probably do a lot of damage. Not or not. Maybe they are all salt vest. Maybe they are all the salt vest. That could be it. Oh my god, this is Go on, get the flinch. <laughs> no, he doesn't. But he gets the flame pro bot. I don't know, it could be a salt vest. Could be. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure how weak Weezing actually is in its special attack. But I'm thinking a salt vest. Maybe. I don't know. That's a lot of battle points, though, because you can't, like... Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to get a lot of battle points to get a lot of assault vests, because they're, like, 48 or some shit. So, he sw switches out again. He double switches. Probably doesn't want to get the burn. So... Oh! That's good! He baited out the burn. Oh, he baited out the burn so that the Conqueror will get burned and get a Guts boost. But, unfortunately, he just goes for Pain Split, so that's... That's just unfortunate for him anyway. This Weezing is really fucking his team over, honestly. Pachirisu! Yay! Oh, what the f- That sludge bomb did nothing! What is this max specially defensive assault vest? Like, what? Like, say, what girl? Say, what girl? What girl? What girl? What girl? He goes for nuzzle, but he can't- he can't paralyze a thingamabob type. Nope, so that's unfortunate for you. And that sludge bomb poisoning is very annoying for you, I can imagine. And now he goes for hidden power. Oh, but hidden power what? Ground? Or just... Super effective? What the fuck do you carry that's super effective? It's only an, it's an electric type, or is it a normal electric type? I don't know, remember what Petrus Petr Petr is. I want to say it's just an electric type. So you what, carry hidden power ground. That's very interesting. The fact that it did literally no damage, and Magnuson does have a decent special attack. I want to say his whole team is assault vested. That is my prediction. I'm pretty sure I am correct. If they're all, if they all do have one item. So now he goes in the middle again, and his ability is going to change to Mummy. But he will get paralyzed, so that may not be good for him. Mummy, go Vault Absorb to Mummy. Oh, Vault Absorb. I didn't even know Patrice still had Vault Absorb. That's probably why he didn't go for Thunderbolt, because I would have just gone for Thunderbolt thinking, you know what, even if it's resisted, it's still going to do the most, I reckon, with Stab and everything. It'll do more than Hidden Power. Wait, would it? With stab, Thunderbolt's 90 base power, it'd be du it'd be powered up to 120, but then it's resisted. But then hidden power is non-stab and it's super effective, so it's also 120. So I guess they both do the same damage. I'm just going for Thunderbolt just in case it switched out though. But now that it has Fault Absorb, I wouldn't do that. But now it seems in wonder, is this thing also Assault Vested? Hmm. Let's have a look. I reckon it's Assault Vest, okay? I think I got it. I think, I think I got it. You know, Icy Wind Skarmory. That probably, probably explains the Icy Wind Skarmory, actually. Because then that would mean it was trying to find four moves to use. And it thought, eh, I'll check on Icy Wind because it might be useful. Unfortunately, he missed a will so he doesn't get any residual damage. But you know what? After, he goes for... It protects for leftovers recovery. Why not, right? Oh! Now he goes for Shadow Ball. Getting that super effective hit off. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's fun and interesting. Goes for another Shadow Ball, like, you know, there's no need to switch it up, I don't remember it. I don't remember if he had a normal type on his team that could have taken it. But now he finally does get the Will-O-Wisp off, and if I am if I was the Sylveon, I would switch out right now. Because I'd predict the Protect. That's just what I would do, because I don't want residual damage on my Wonder. Wonder! Fairly on Parents reference, I'm pretty sure, because it's pink and it's fairy. Oh! Oh, Fairly on Parents is a great show. I love Fairy on Parents. I don't know what... Tutankayum! Uh, yeah, I'm not racist, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just sounded very Asian to me. I don't I don't know why, I don't know. I'm away since in Beijing. It is a very Asian-based team, let's be honest. He's got Beijing, he's got Tutankayum, 
And then a side shock. That's not a really good move because he's physically defensive. But he's got sludge bomb. But he's got assault vest. That is definitely an assault vest. His whole team. His whole team is assault vested. That's pretty cool. I did run an oil an all choice team. There was two choice banded people, two choice specs people. People, Pokemon, not, not people, not people running around with like a scarf and a fucking band punching other people and firing water out of their bums or something, I don't know. And like being really quick with some scarf, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's what Usain Bolt does, you know. Usain Bolt has like a choice scarf, he just has a scarf wrapped around him and that's why he can run faster than everyone. But no one sees the scarf, and everyone's like, no, you can wear your scarf. He's like, no, they don't, they don't realize it's a choice scarf. And then he wins! I should wear a choice scarf and I'd win, you know what I'm saying. Sends in this bad boy of a Conkeldur, but he doesn't realize that special attack's not gonna do as much because look! Look at that! Assault Vest and Drain Punch gonna take all that health back. Not really all of it, maybe, maybe like half of what it just did. Half of what it just did, maybe like two thirds of what it just did. I don't know. It looked like, like, kind of like that, so much we would do. There's four more turns for this battle, so I actually don't know whose Pokemon died and who's not died, so I don't know who wins this battle. I'm assuming it's Michael, because most people who send battles, send battles that they win, because they want to be like, hey look, I win, I'm a great player, woo! But it's just perfectly fine, but you know, it's always, always so cool to send in battles that you lose if it's in a really great battle. It's a, it's a really great battle. Mega Marwile comes in, Mega Evolves, and it's just like, ah, oh, bitch, I got flawless hair, because I'm worth it. <laughs> And Patrice who dies, Conquer. Conquer dies! Ah, ah, conquer. <laughs> but anyway, Achi Breaky. Achi Breaky comes in, goes intimidate. Like, you are scared of his dance moves. Which most of the internet is probably scared of mine as well. But high jump kick, boom! Does alright damage. Playoff's gonna just Oko it even with intimidate. Because, fucking, it, it's a Mega Marwile. It has Mega Marwile? Marwile! Mega Mobile! He sends in Pogo. Pogo. Is he gonna like Pogo stick on his sticks? Dream Bun should kill this Mega Mobile! It does! <gasps> Could Pogo pull it through? Could Assault Vest Pogo do this? Could he do this? We will see right after the break. Lol JK, there's no break. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you there. Oh, and he sends in Deku! Zelda reference! Oh, but oh, the assault vest is not enough because of the crit, which mattered because assault vest. I'm assuming assault vest. Deku. There's so many cool references there. Either way, guys, that was a great battle. Michael, thank you for submitting. If you guys want to submit, you already know how to submit. If you don't know how to submit, then go to the front of the video. Because what are you doing? <laughs> Either way, guys. Obviously, if it's a if, if it's a battle that looks that sounds really boring, I have to delete it because I can't review every single battle because there's so many. I've already got like ten. Now I have nine, but if you guys any more, then I'll have more. Oh, so many to review! If you like this series, just leave a like below, and obviously, I upload this whenever I can, uh, because, I don't know, unless you guys, unless there's a huge demand for this series, like, yo, this is my best favorite series, do more of this then. I don't know, but I have to wait, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you guys want to battle me, follow me on my Twitter. If you guys want to just do anything, just follow me on Twitter. Just follow me on Twitter, because I live there, and you can talk to me, because I like talking to you guys as well. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video, goodbye.